where we've been, where we combine travel and coffee. Join us on day three. For this adventure, we will be traveling from Lower Sabi all the way north to Tukwane. We will be enjoying a lovely brunch and from there, we will be traveling all the way south to Skukuza Rest Camp, where we will be spending the night. So let's hit the road! Good morning everyone, welcome to our second day of our Kruger Heritage trip. We uh, are currently next to the Salby River. We're gonna have a quick coffee. We wanted to go for a morning drive, but the queue was just too hectic. And that means traffic wherever you're gonna go. So we're just gonna take a chilled, enjoy our coffee, and then pack up and then head out all the way to Kwana, to Kwane, to Kwane. <laughs> having a good uh, brunch and then head to Skukuza where we will be staying tonight. What's playing in the sunset there? We had to stop at the shop just to see if there's something to nibble on. So, the one bad thing about waking up early is that you crave something sweet very early. So, it's time for a nice, nice Rolo ice cream, the best ever. And then it was time just to cross the bridge of Lower Sabi just one more time before heading all the way north to Tukwane. fascinating to see how the giraffe stretches all the way down to the lowest little leaf. So a very interesting fact about hyenas is that they can be cannibalistic. Cannibalism of very young members does occur but it is very rare. But stay tuned later in this video where we show a bit of cannibalism for hyenas. But be aware, it's not for sensitive viewers. and just listen to the hooves of this giraffe.
Beautiful, isn't it? So just listen how these big guys can cross the road without making even a sound. And the reason for that is, is the thick elastic pads under their feet that expand as soon as weight is applied. Just so amazing. We've just stopped at Nkumbe. I think that's correctly pronounced. Um, look out here, just on our way to Tukwane. And it's so silent and it's amazing just to see the horizon not stop, a never ending horizon. It's fantastic. Have a look. A whole pride of lions. Wow, we were so lucky. So we were actually on our way to Tokwane and we actually wanted to pass open the, the turn of, of open dam and luckily we were stopped by friendly people telling us there's two male lions but before we got to the male lions we actually saw the other pride of lions but i think these males are with those uh pride with that pride so yeah but they they literally um what 500 meters apart from each other and in between of them there's actually elephants as well so yeah it's it's actually a really good day and a really kruger trip really really good kruger trip and some poor impala as well yeah and there's impalas close to the pride of lions but i don't think they would do anything they too lazy and it's very hot <laughs> At that moment, I wish I could just lie in the shade all day long because it was very hot. So we just made a quick stop here at Open Dam, quickly to have a look what, what's happening here. So the lions is literally, literally, you should whip the camera, somewhere there, yeah, that area. So literally not even 800 meters away is, uh, is the pride of lions. So it's flipping awesome. But it's also sad to see how dry it is over here. But there's a lot of water buck in the river as well. Um, yeah, so just, it's just gonna be a quick stop and then we need to go eat because I'm very hungry. Yeah, 
Very cool sightings. It's finally time to have a brunch at Tukwane. I'm so hungry. And then it's all the way back again to Skukuza. And hopefully we see more. Cheers. Tukwane is named after the old Chinvan chief who lived there until his death in 1950. He knew all about the tribal history, about the Zulu and Swazi raids into the area. After a lovely brunch and with our tummies full, we set the road and saw one of my absolute favourite sightings. We were all alone with my favourite animals. something to see how they can bring so much joy to themselves with just a little bit of water. Elephants normally use sand or mud to protect themselves from the sun or to repel bugs. But I can clearly state that this guy maybe just used the sand to repel himself from bugs, looking at the way that he's itching. See, this elephant wasn't itchy, but rather irritated. Agitated indeed, because he had to take it out on this small tree. And then I tried my very best to capture a fish eagle in flight. We stay through new horizons, watch the waves keep crashing in. And it seems that elephants aren't only afraid of mice, but also of birds. Man, we saw a lot of elephants, but it's always worth it to spend some time with a little elephant like this. Shadow 
shadows dancing around my skin. And then it was time for just a quick stop at Nkulu picnic site, which is found between Skukuza and Lowasabi, which this picnic spot is actually quite old since it opened already in 1957. For me, it has one of the best views when having a brunch or early breakfast or maybe lunch. What are you drinking now? Oh, I had a, a castle free. It's not that they hand it out for free, it's only got no alcohol in it. Because you don't drink and drive in the Kruger. And now I'm eating Tokwane Trading Post cookies. What cookies are they? Uh, I think it's cappuccino it's or coffee cookies. cookies. Well, it's the same, they taste the same. Coffee and cappuccino cookies taste exactly the same. Yeah, but the, the, but the, the, heritage, the heritage thing is coffee cookies. Okay, it's coffee cookies. Mm. <laughs> you know, they could have been a leopard and I couldn't <laughs> even see it. Because you talk so much. Mm. <laughs> So while I was enjoying my cookies, this guy kept an eye out for the leopards. If you're like I am, please don't watch the sighting that follows. It's really quite hectic. I don't know what happened here, but it must have been hectic. But here's the cannibalism part that I've mentioned earlier in this video. amazing was that hyena sighting it was actually scary and horrific to see a hyena eating another hyena it's so so scary but still so cool and yeah something that you see once in a lifetime so hopefully we will see some leopard um, but otherwise, a cold beer has to do.
Tschüss. Yeah, and sorry for the shaky photography, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And just like that, the leopard disappeared. The Kruger just keeps on delivering over and over. Wow! That sighting was just... Wow! I didn't think we were going to see a leopard before we uh, reached camp. Really, I didn't. Yo! Are you happy? This Kruger trip is, is amazing. I can't believe how many things we've seen so far. Wow. It's the second day we got, we've seen the big five. Yeah, I can't believe it. The previous times we were here, no, the last three times we didn't see any lion. And now we've seen lion by, yeah, we've seen a lot of lion. <laughs> Moosha Bayer. Was it Moosha Bayer we seen? <laughs> yes, Lord. There's other Afrikaans word we, words we can use for that as well, but rather not. Yeah, Mursa work in this situation. I can't believe it. Like, yeah. You know, I'm gonna enjoy your beer now. I'm gonna enjoy my beer. I wanna reach camp before sunset so that I can enjoy a nice castle, a nice golden oldie, and I wanna see the sunset over the castle. deserved beer after a very very successful day. Cheers. And what a day this was. Stay tuned for the next day that follows. Where we see, wait for it, more lions.